Hello, hello guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to uh, add in a follow path and uh, now if you don't know what follow path is what it basically is is something that your object will follow so it, it looks like this so if I go to curve it looks like a uh, this thing okay but there so it looks like this now, it took me uh, a long time to find this so I searched it up on the internet and everything I didn't I didn't find anything on full of ads. it was just some other videos that yeah so uh, so then what I did was I decided to try it out myself and try to hello guys welcome back and uh, today we're gonna be looking at how to add in a follow path and make your object to follow it so if you don't know what a follow path is it's something that your object will follow so it looks like this you're going to the curve and add in a path so now it looks like this so it's this little thing and your object uh, that you're having will follow it so now it took me a long time to figure this out how to use it and I looked up on the internet and stuff but I didn't find anything it's it just was uh, very hard and frustrating now uh, then I decided to look it up uh, no, sorry not look it up decided to use it by myself on Blender. so it took me a couple of tries to uh, learn how to use it but I finally figured it out so here goes nothing now I add in a curve a path and what I will do now is click one and click Z to go into one frame and let's see one this is the front side and I will just do this if I click three that's the front this front this side so let's just grab this and make it move down there okay now we can get out of wireframe let's go into edit mode and let's say what you will see so let's see what we can do here now I want my object to follow this so what I'll do is first uh, I'll, click. I'll select a point and pull it up there and I'll select another point which is should be I don't know let's see let's see like this uh, I cannot actually see it properly there should be a point around there or no I don't think there is well anyways uh, what we will do is okay we're gonna click A to deselect all and B to box select all select this whole portion here and I uh, will move that up okay so that's it that's all you have to do and uh, now uh, this thing just follows it so how it follows this it's very simple uh, let me just arrange this very nicely first so you can see this don't worry about the outlines of this uh, just look at this Thing here which looks like uh, I don't know a bunch of arrows so it's kind of curved and that's where our, our object will go so now what you want to do is click tab to go into object mode and I think you select the box first and then select that and click copy and uh, click follow path and now if we click A to deselect or if we play it you will see that happen and that's what we want here right so so now uh, I can go here and set this to 30 frames per yeah 30 frames that you can have it's not it 50 frames to make it go a little faster okay so uh, anyways Let's see. So as you can see, it's playing very nicely right now. So, so now I'm just gonna make our camera follow this. So I'll click seven first, right there, go there, 
move it a little here and I'll just kind of make it touch this a little bit so I'll rotate it first so that it's looking at our cube I hope it is oh, still not so I need to arrange it from the first front view so I'll just do that move it a little back zero and it's still not okay just like this Oops. and then I'll click lock camera to view now I'm just gonna select this here like that and that's very simple select the camera and then select this and then click go P and follow path now if I click zero and play this you'll see that our camera moves along with it so yeah that's what we want here and what you can do now is go to the cycles render engine and add in all the materials you want and other stuff and yes that was the tutorial hope you enjoy and thank you for watching like always see you next time